Hello and welcome to One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. Alright, feeling the energies today. It's already getting kind of like just an anxious feel this morning. I don't know if others out there are feeling the same thing. If you're feeling kind of anxious, it's for you. All right. I want to invite the angels in. Thank you for being here. Let me be a clear and open channel for your guidance for the collective I honestly don't even know what day it is these readings are always timeless it is February I believe the 7th or the 8th so that's how like the energy is right now, right? I just don't really know what's going on. Just kind of got a lot of things to do. Don't really feel like doing any of them. It's raining outside. The groundhog did not see his shadow in the second. So spring is coming. Uh, Definitely be getting a lot of new growth with this amount of rain, which is awesome. It kind of holds you inside at the same time. Can't get out there and get your vitamin D from the sun. So hopefully you have some supplements. Okay. Woo. Cards are flying. All right. Welcome in. I am excited to be here. Ooh, the cards jumping out. This is your energy. The chariot. Yeah, fast moving. Jumping out. Gotta keep the momentum moving. What are the energies for today? We're doing the five card spread. I got this beautiful new spread. Velvet. I really love the tarot imagery it has around the border here. I think it's really beautiful. I gotta figure out what deck this is get it because I really like it All right in the past we have justice present ten of cups beautiful hidden influence ace of cups the advice three of pentacles really beautiful energy here and the likely outcome, the Queen of Swords. Really beautiful energy. It's really, I can feel like the vibration coming out of these cards. Like, woo! Yeah, the woo right here. Woo! Woo! You got this energy flowing into these strings here. You got all these rainbow energies with some balance. Yeah, you're bringing balance with these two opposing energies here. You're bringing them together. You've got momentum. You know, you're looking like you're on top of the world here. I don't know how much of these cards you can really see through this camera, but... Uh, I'm working on a camera situation still. This is not giving me a preview, so I cannot tell exactly where we're at. 
right? Which is also an omen, right? Can't tell exactly where we're at. And we're kind of, we're traveling on this path. A little bit scattered, but you gotta keep them together, right? They gotta go together. It's not gonna work. Otherwise your carriage won't move. All right, and you're guiding it up here. You're pretty confident. You're looking to the horizon. You're looking ahead. You, you seem very determined. And this is also a cancer card. And, you know, cancers are about home. Uh, very emotional, ruled by the moon, which causes the waves, the tides. Right, justice is about balance. Maybe you didn't have enough balance in your past. So this rep represents events, influences, or feelings leading up to the present situation. Okay, maybe you just didn't feel balanced. You need to gain some more balance. She also has a sword here, which is the mind. Your, your mind is just running, 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 and it's kind of all directions. You need to focus it, channel that. Have it be more balanced. The the light and the dark here. Your intuition. Your eyes are open. Your reflection here. But your eyes are closed in reality. And your present, which is beautiful, indicates your current thoughts, feelings, and actions regarding the matter. Right, so you're kind of blissful about this. I mean, you're feeling good. All right, maybe you achieved this balance. So now you're sitting pretty and you're feeling good. Maybe you're with family and you're just enjoying your time together. Riding this rainbow of light. Yeah, this could be about relationships, family. All right, you, you worked on yourself personally. You looked at yourself in the mirror so that you could get to this point and realize that this is in the past. So let's just put it down and move forward and just relax and enjoy the company of loved ones. Okay, and then here you have your in, hidden influence points to hidden aspects of the question you may have overlooked or are not aware of. The Ace of Cups, this is your heart here in the middle, the vibrations that you're projecting out into the world. Maybe you didn't realize that you had this light in you Till you looked at yourself, like really looked at yourself and brought the light and the dark together. Really just becoming one with yourself and embracing the two sides of the good and the bad, right? Because we are living a human experience. Can't all be good all the time, even if you're a good person. Right, sometimes you do bad things that maybe you regret. All you can do is balance that out by just starting from right now to be a better person. If you want to change something, just start right now, whatever it is. And do it from heart. From your passions, from your love for your family, this could be even for work, because I see the, the creative over here working on something. This could be family working together.
Yeah, you you have this gift here. You have this beautiful energy to turn this water going past this this light here, right? And then creates a rainbow. You need the water and the light. You need the two energies to create the rainbow. Because that's what's going to drive your passion. Right? Whatever the darkness was in the past. Or whatever situation you needed to balance out. Either with yourself or career, relationship, family. Whatever it may be. These are your emotions. There's a lot of cups here. Three cups. Well. <laughs> this is actually a justice card. So it's not a cups card. But it looks like cups. Right? So you got the emotions. You've got your mind thinking too much you need to balance that out and just radiate from your heart okay your advice may um, may offer practical advice get creative Maybe get you know together with community, friends, family, work on something together, create something beautiful, work of art, just enjoying each other's company. And that you're working, but you're still having fun. It's that balance of work and play doing things that you love that are fantastical likely outcome suggest the probable outcome so the outcome is going to be you just looking back at everything you know kind of sitting up on this this pedestal cushion here you're above everybody else like you can see you're like above the mountains here you're not not that you're above everyone else it's like humans or other people but you're you're high elevation right you're wise you've learned a lot you have some advice to give to others that you can pass on. And you're just kind of contemplating which way you want to go now. I mean, she almost looks like she might be kind of floating in the water as well, but this also looks like mountains. It could be ocean waves, <clears throat> air, an air sign here on the flag. You're getting higher. You're soaring to new heights. You know, you can put that sword down. You've got it up, up your chin here. Now you can just kind of set it to your side. It's just there as your companion, but not in your face. You can relax. You're confident. Still don't know what this thing is over here. It just reminds me of a yo-yo in a jail cell, like on the corner here. Like, I don't know if this would be like stone or a cushion. Kind of reminds me of like the dog crates that are, you know, also tables. Like, but this is this one's like an ottoman that has like a dog crate. Uh, maybe it could be a dog toy. Uh, but it looks like a yo-yo. Maybe you're tied up by something, right? String in the yo-yo. You're in jail here. Yeah. Something about the things that have tied you up. She's got lots of string on her shoes here too. Holding it to her feet.
Yeah, but this is like under you now. This is pushed down, deep down. You know, locked up forever. You got over this going through your mind and the emotions and you're just you pushed it down. It's gone. It's locked up forever. You're moving forward. But you still have it with you because it's still part of you. These shoes were made for walking and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these shoes are gonna walk all over you. Right? Well, it's normally boots, but... <laughs> we'll say it's shoes, because it's strapped to your feet, right? You're just gonna keep on walking. You gotta keep moving forward. And we're doing it quickly. And with heart and love and creativity. And we're just being content with ourselves. Gaining extra wisdom. It's beautiful reading, beautiful. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Okay, and this is in our likely outcome, which is five. That's what changes. Right? Changes are happening. Can you tell me more about the likely outcome here? Uh, what is going on? Page of Wands. This one comes up a lot. All right, just making sure it's in there. All right. <laughs> so, you know, this is um, marking the tallies on that goal that you have. And you're coloring in the different notches as you rise up. And you're seeing your progress. Right? You were looking back at all this that you've already had to deal with in the past and you're moving forward. This is you moving up. Ooh, raising consciousness. So this is a special card in this deck. Right, so you're really coming into your own with all this wisdom that you have now from everything. You have this fire, you have this passion, you have these wings, you're gonna fly. You're confident. Leveling up. Moving forward. The Wheel of Fortune. Take the risk. All right, the angels are watching you. Your birds are watching you. All the animals are watching you. They're here to support you. And this looks like maybe your birth chart. Right? Maybe you should look to your birth chart to see what's going on specifically for you personally and what you're here for and what you're meant to be doing. Where do your planets align in your houses and in the zodiacs and the degrees? And then there's, there's really so much to it. Um, I'm just starting to learn about it and get into it, but you can go, you know, on the web and just search birth charts. Most, um, most sites will give you a free birth chart and it will show you exactly where you're at from, you know, at the time that you were born based off of where you were born and at what time.
And then you can find out also, uh, you know, they talk about sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. There's actually a lot more signs than that, too, um, to where you'll fall into in this birth chart. It's pretty cool. Definitely recommend you doing that to see which way you should be going. What direction? What are you here for? What's your purpose? You know, which direction that yo-yo when you throw it out? Which direction are you throwing it out? Which trick are you going to do? Is it going to come back to you? <laughs> is it just going to stay dangling, right? So maybe not everything is for you. Yeah, you try new things. See how it works out for you. Practice it. See if you like it. Are you enjoying it? Does it correlate with your birth chart and what you're here to be doing? Does it make you feel good? Does it make others feel good? All right. Okay, so let's do I do the Beyond Luminara. Get some more advice, more um, information on the situation, and this energy for today. This is a beautiful energy. You really look to your your signs, your zodiac signs for for more clarity and information. Lumen Essence, 35. That's an eight. That's manifestation, right? She looks beautiful. She's coming out of the water. She has the heart again. She has these wings, right? She's ready to fly. She's doing it with so much love and light. Starseed Elemental. You're here to teach others. You're here to be a light. To shine the light for others. Look at this beautiful rainbow here. It's just radiating from the top of her head. 45. 9. Wisdom. Wings. This is like the third eye. All right. Oh man, this one keeps popping up in like almost every reading I do. Endless opportunities. 23, this is also a five. This is about change. Um, you know, this is about transform transformation and maybe uh, like adapting to new environments right these butterflies are all in bubbles but, you know butterflies can already fly they already have wings so why do they need to be in a bubble all right pop those bubbles so that you can be free where you're just in this circle, circle of life, circle of transformation, just floating, right? Maybe you need to lose control to have these endless opportunities. There's so many different things out there that you can try to get this beautiful feeling with heart. You just need to kind of feel it out, experiment. Which one do you want to pop open to let free and bloom and fly away? Mm. All right, let's do Wild Offering. A couple of them here. Doubt. Offering all to the divine doesn't mean 
negativity never arises. Negativity never arises, but you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence. Okay, so this is just saying, you know, you can't be happy all the time, right? You can't have this fake persona of being happy all the time because negativity is going to pop its head in every once in a while. But you have to be strong enough to push it aside and give, give up these burdens for the universe to give you opportunities Right, have faith, have the confidence that it's all gonna work out. That this cushion is gonna take you where you need to be in these rocky waters. And then you have striving. Eventually the individual, e individual ego's drive to make things happen falls away, replaced with a relaxed, trusting openness to answer answers as they arise. Thank you, Divine, for letting me move with the flow. Eventually, the individual's egos drive to make things happen falls away and is replaced with a relaxed, trusting openness to answers as they arise, right? You went from overthinking to just putting it down. Just try the universe that is gonna come to you with flow, right? We had all this flow, all this flow. Now the divine is not going to let you down they are here to protect you for your highest good. Moonstone. Live your purpose. Heart. Heart. Your purpose. What is your purpose? Right? Look to your birth chart. What is your purpose? You know, it's always the age-old question. What What is the purpose of us being here on Earth as humans? What is the purpose? We are just all energy. Part of a grander scheme of energy. Bigger than we'll ever know. So much bigger than us. When you really start to think about it, you know, when you have all these troubles and woes on your daily basis and having to go to work and deal with bills and take care of family and yourself, which most people forget to do, right? Just think about how much there is out there in the universe, you know, just go to NASA and look at some pictures or watch a video and let your self feel small right for a second and realize that the problems that you have right now are in your control they're always in your control and they're not really as big as you feel like they are because you really are just a speck of dust in the spectrum of energy of the universe of the galaxy Right? Just feel small for a second. It might help you kind of pull yourself out of everything feeling so big and overwhelming. Like, if you don't do something, like, the world's going to end. Well, that's just not true. Right? But you do have to be aware of how you put your energy out into the world at the same time. Because it is a domino effect and it, it is a collective energy from everyone. Everyone is connected with energy and it's infectious when you have a bad attitude or you're complaining all the time or something like that um 
you know, you gotta get rid of that energy because you're affecting everybody else around you. You know, smile at other people. Hold the door open for other people. You know? Lou Marian Lumerian Quartz Practice Patience. Yeah, so you're gonna have to have a little bit of patience here. You know, you're kind of waiting around here. You know, it's gonna take a while to float or get over these mountains. You know, if you're flying or if you're floating, it's gonna, it's a journey. So you need to have some patience. Have patience with yourself. Man. Tourmalinated quartz. Tourmalinated quartz. I am. These words are so foreign to me. Right? Foreign. Like going somewhere new. Foreign destination. Maybe you need to travel to experience new opportunities. Could just be a traveling in the mind, too. It doesn't even have to be physical. We do have the physical here. Get out of your own way. Right? Get out of this energy where you keep looking at yourself. Right? You know, and telling yourself things that aren't true, that you're not good enough. Right? That you don't deserve it. Whatever it is you're saying to yourself in a negative way, you need to get out of your own way. Put it down. Have balance. Do everything with heart and love and creativity. Okay? Don't force anything else. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to do the periodic table. We have hydrogen. Okay, it's a non-metal. It's air, fuel, and the sun. All right, and the air is your mind. You're thinking about things. Air, the sun creating these rainbows, right? Even this is water in the sun. Air, water gets evaporated into the air. Creates a rainbow, right? Fuel, this is the fuel to get you going. My suffering I restore my awareness honoring your suffering balancing out if you have been playing so little attention paying so little attention that you don't realize you have a job you hate a relationship you don't want a body you don't like an addiction to a bunch of shit to provide thrills that suppress your disconnection of happiness then you are pretty ripe for an awareness spanking from the universe aka a rock bottom moment a warning an opportunity for transition life packs your darkest moments with messages and lessons to help you restore your awareness and release your pain when you honor your suffering you set it free right so that's back to this yo-yo here right When you honor your suffering, it's almost like, because why would you carry that around with you in your journey if you've already let it go, right? You put it away. 
because you're honoring it. You're kind of wearing it as a badge. It's a badge of honor to move forward because you had to have these experiences in order to get here to where you are now. Right? So have gratitude for that pain because it's what's going to set you free. It's how you learn. It's how you become wise and aware. Okay. Death is my homie. Death is divine. Beautiful bird. The message. If you lived each day as if it were your last, how would your experience change? All right? You probably wouldn't complain about the weather, whine about your job, or think things like, why can't I catch a break? It's about your mindset, right? Instead, you'd be out raging in your undies in the middle of a rainstorm. It's literally raining right now. Climbing up the apple tree, shredding tears to the beauty of the natural world, You'd be yelling calabunga as you swing down from a branch into a puddle of glorious mud, the elixir of earth. You wouldn't be resentful or entitled. You'd be appreciative and full of love. The closer you hang to your homie, death, the more moments come alive. Wow, right? This is the death, right? This is your old, your old life your experiences, but it's bringing you all this beauty, all this joy, right? It's about your mindset, like I said, right? I'm going to keep telling yourself, why can't I just catch a break? That's what's going to keep coming to you. It's a frequency. So you got to change that mindset. Okay. Turn it into something positive and just be grateful and thankful for the lesson, right? There was a lesson in whatever this break is that you couldn't catch, right? Learn from it, move forward with wisdom. Okay, let's see here. And we are going to do a life card here on this one right here. How important are anniversaries, birthdays, and holidays to you? Describe if you, describe if and how you'd like to celebrate, right? Okay. This is about celebration. How important are anniversaries, birthdays, and holidays to you? You know, the important people in your life you like to celebrate? You like to celebrate yourself? 